Welcome back dear students. Today we shall solve this particular problem. What we need to do is we need to calculate the reactions at the support. The first step you just observe where the supports are given. So here the supports are given at the either ends. Fine. This is a hinged one. We know for a hinged one we have both vertical reaction. Since it is at point A, so I will call it that A and the horizontal reaction. So the direction of horizontal reaction depends upon the direction of the force. We will see it later. Next, come to this particular, we have a roller support. For a roller support, we have only vertical reaction but not the horizontal reaction. So now, we know the reaction is always normal to the surface and towards the surface. I have explained this particular concept in an introduction class. See, this reaction is normal to this surface and towards it. So since it is normal, I will write it 90 degree here. And this entire particular roller is inclined at an angle 30 degree to the horizontal. So since this forms a triangle, obviously this particular angle should be 90 minus the given angle. So this is supposed to be 60 degree. Now, since it is at point D, I will call this RD. Again, when we know whenever the reaction or a force is inclined, we need to resolve it. We have an inclined reaction. So, we shall resolve to vertical and horizontal component. You can clearly observe angle is measured with respect to horizontal to incline that is 60 degree. Horizontal to incline this would be your 60 degree. Now, we need to check which is cos component and which is sine component. Always remember from which the angle is measured that particular will be the cos component. Here since it is measuring with respect to horizontal, so this will be Rd cos 60 degree and this will be Rd sine 60 degree. So this is the key point you need to check in this particular problem. Rest all remain simple. Next. Proceeding further, the step 1 is for equilibrium condition, summation of vertical forces should be equal to 0, summation of horizontal forces should be equal to 0 and summation of all moment should be equal to 0. Next, just check for vertical. We need to summation of all vertical forces and should be equated to 0. So, which are the vertical forces in this given particular, whether it can be a reaction or a force, it should be considered. So, when you take a force, vertical forces, any forces which is acting in upward direction should be taken positive and downward direction to be taken negative, same as your graph convention. So, since this force is acting vertically upward, we shall take positive, that is Ra vertical one. So, this is positive. Next, we shall look this. This is an UDL load. How to take up a UDL load? Force into its overall length. So, here 20 kilonewton acting per meter. For 2 meter, it should be 20 kilonewton into 2. So, even this particular, it is acting downward. So, it should be negative 20 kilonewton into 2. So, that is 20 into 2. This is a load. And you can see point load which is acting at this point, point load to be taken directly. So this is again acting downward, this is minus 10. Next, coming to this triangular load, we know how to take up a load for triangle, half into base into height. So since this is acting downward, minus half into 3 into this maximum intensity, that is 10. Next. You can observe here we have Rd sin theta which is acting in upward direction. So this is supposed to be plus Rd sin 60 degree. So this is about the load. It should be equated to 0. Cross check once. This is the most important step. First is this particular. It is there. Second is UDL load. It is there. Next it is a point load and a triangle load and this particular reaction. Now, you try to simplify this, we have two unknowns, Rv at point A, that is vertical reaction and Rd. So, we need to simplify these two. 
first of all we since we have two unknowns we shall simplify what are the possible things and we shall proceed to the next one on simplifications we have this particular rv at point a and simplifying this sin 60 we have 0 0.866 multiply rd and we have taken these values added and we have sent to the right side we have this particular equation so call this as equation 1 next we have done with the vertical forces summations next we shall go to the horizontal forces so you can just observe how many horizontal forces are here so we have one reaction acting to the right side or left side we can look the direction later on next on simplifying this we have one more this is rd cos theta it is acting to the left side please make a note the direction of all these three arrow marks should meet at one common point okay so now this is rd cos theta and we have r h at point a mean to say that horizontal reaction at point a so i have assumed to the right side take this horizontal reaction at point a acting to the right side positive and this minus rd cos 60 degree since it is to the left side i have taken negative should be equal to 0. Now, horizontal reaction and simplifying this cos 60, we have 0.5 times Rd should be equal to 0 or else if I send this to this side, so this particular will be equal to this. So, we shall call this as equation 2. Now, we need to take a moment so always remember when you wanted to take a moment always take from the left support and proceed the problem we shall take moment at point a so we all know moment is equal to force into its perpendicular distance you can observe we have whether it is force or a reaction at point a we have one force or reaction again this udl point load triangular load and again this one and we have this horizontal reaction also since we are taking at this point a the perpendicular distance remains zero so i am not taking this particular reaction proceeding further summation of moment at point a should be equal to zero so make a note we are taking moment at point a so first one we have a force 20 into 2 is a new DL load that is 20 into 2 is uh, 40 into what is its perpendicular distance as I told the load in UDL is concentrated at center point so if I divide this two we have one meter each now since we are taking moment at point A we need to calculate from this to the center of the UDL so from here to here we have one plus 1 that is distance is 2 when you take moment if it is clockwise take positive and if it is negative that is to the counterclockwise direction so coming to this so we have you can see that this entire beam produces clockwise with respect to point a so this will be the positive one next coming to this point load load is 10 kilo newton and distance from point A to this particular point load distance is 1 plus 2 which is 3 again you can observe even this producing a clockwise rotation of the entire beam so this is positive next we have a triangular load so how to calculate a load for triangle half into base into height that is half into 3 into 10 this is a load and how to calculate its distance since we are measuring from one point so the distance would be two third of its height as i told since it is touching this arrow marks is directing towards three so this is the height so three three cancels from this it is two since we are taking with respect to point a what is its overall distance one plus two plus two so total it is five next we have one reaction before that you can observe even this triangular load it is producing a clockwise direction rotation so this is positive 
नेक्स्ट कमिंग टू दिस रिएक्शन आर डी साइन सिक्सटी डिग्री फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट इट इज एन ओवरऑल डिस्टेंस वन प्लस टू प्लस थ्री इट इज सिक्स यू कैन ऑब्जर्व दिस एंटायर बीम ड्यू टू दिस रिएक्शन इट प्रोड्यूस अ काउंटर क्लॉक वाइज डायरेक्शन सो दिस इज नेगेटिव एंड इट शुड बी इक्वल टू जीरो now from this equation the only unknown is rd on simplification of this particular equation you will get what is the value of rt on simplifications we have this is 35.60 kilo newton so we got the reaction at point d the next is since we have this rd value just substitute back in equation 2 and get what is horizontal reaction at point a so if i substitute 35.60 here multiply by 0.5 so that is this particular value so we have horizontal reaction at point a is 17.8 kilo newton again the same rd value if i substitute here so we will get vertical reaction at point a is equal to 34.17 kilo newton so this completes your problem thank you